Kashu and Ani makes good money. Kashu farmers in Africa know that. Today, we accompany the entrepreneur, Mr. Saki, who is in the Ani business. Together, we are visiting one of his suppliers from whom he buys the Ani. Mr. Saki explains that the cashew tree is pollinator dependent. Bees are effective pollinators for cashew trees. The woman places several beehives around her cashew farm to increase yields and quality of raw cashew nuts. The quality of the honey is crucial for its pricing. Mr. Saki is examining the honey, especially the moisture content is determining the shelf life of the produce. It shall be less than 20%. Honey production is an income opportunity, especially for women, as they often take care of the hives. Nyantano Sareke, directeur du Centre intégré d'apiculture tropicale et d'écotourisme de Comigia. Je suis en partenariat avec ICA pour faire la promotion de la production du cajou en association avec la production apicole. Cette association permet d'améliorer les revenus des pauvres paysans parce qu'ils auront les produits apicoles à vendre, qui ont un grand marché et beaucoup plus dans le cadre. Mieux encore, l'agressivité des abeilles décourage les voleurs, ce qui améliore la rentabilité de la plantation d'anacad. J'aimerais vous montrer l'expérience d'apiculture dans mon rucher. Allons-y. After putting on protective clothing, we follow Mr. Saki to his bee research area. The bees are kept in hives in the shade. Smoke is used to pacify the bees. He opens the hives to oversee the stable growth of the honeycombs. The hives shall only be opened once a week to not disturb the bees. While apiculturists have less defensive and high productive bee colonies, they also use defensive bees for cross-breeding purposes. Mr. Saki now leads us to a defensive wild bee colony. Care has to be taken as these mice think. After the hive is open, immediately the bees try to defend themselves from the intruder. The combs are checked for mold and diseases. His assistant removes the superfluous wax from the comb frame. Beekeeping offers a promising opportunity to commercialize not only honey, but also wax and propolis. A small beekeeping project can be profitable from the beginning. After a project is started and expertise is gained, it is easy for the beekeeper to increase the number of hives. 100 bees biting me. Yeah, yeah, some is biting for my head. They bite you? Yeah, my head. Unfortunately, one of the bees found a way through our sound engineer's protection crew and stung him in his nose. After leaving the area, we are visiting another type of hive. Here, we see an example of a round hive in a tree. Mostly women groups are trained on how to integrate bees on cashew farms. The training teaches the necessary steps in apiculture. Integrating beekeeping activities on cashew farms lead to significantly high yields. Research in Benin showed that Farmer income from honey, wax and propolis of two hives per hectare provides additional income of 138 US dollars per hectare per year. <laughs>